Hello my friends, today we are on Photoshop Beta and I want to show you how you can easily extend any background onto Photoshop. We'll take this image from this to this, then we have a wildlife image from portrait orientation like this into this, and then an intricate landscape will go from this into this. This is so easy, it only takes a couple of steps and the main thing right now this is only available into Photoshop Beta. To download Photoshop Beta go into your um, Adobe uh, Creative Cloud and then under the beta apps you will see Photoshop beta and if you do own Photoshop then you can download this for absolute free and once you have your Photoshop beta in order to find this uh, dialog that we will be using you can go into Windows and make sure contextual taskbar it's clicked. We'll start with this image. This is a beautiful image, but it's too cropped in. It does not have a story. I want to create a story. So let's see how we do that. First of all, I'm going to zoom out quite a bit so I can see what I'm doing. And I want to add a large, large background to make this very cinematic. For that, I will go to my crop tool and I will choose a 16 by nine aspect ratio. And I want to extend this image quite a bit because like I said, I want to create a story. So I'm going to give it more headroom over here. Now their heads are kind of like in the rule of third. I want to move this image onto this side for the rule of thirds. And now I do like that composition. I will click this check mark to accept the changes. And then we have all these empty pixels now that we have to fill with the background. To do so, I will choose my lasso tool and I'm going to start making a selection of the white pixels and I make sure I take some of the edges of my picture just for Photoshop to have something to reference on, see kind of what's going on in the image so they can make a more accurate uh, filling of the blank pixels. So there you go, I selected all the white pixels plus my edges from my picture. And I'll click on this generate the fill. If you do not see generate the fill, go to your windows and make sure the contextual taskbar is clicked on. So click on generate the fill and here it's going to ask me to do a prompt to tell it what to fill it with. And I'm not going to tell it what to fill it with. I'm going to let Photoshop do its best. So I'm going to put nothing there and just click generate. And let's see how it does. This whole process is happening on the web. So as you can see, this is the progress bar. It does go pretty quick. Even though this is a big image, we have a lot of pixels to figure out. Let's see how it does. I hope this really uh, works. Photoshop will give us three versions that we can choose from. So there you go. This is our panoramic image. This really tells a story. It looks great. It's so much better than before. We started with that image and now we have this image. And here on the right side, you see you have three variations. That's our first variation. Then we have a different variation. One more, the light matches, everything, the perspective matches. If you do not like any of these three versions that Photoshop gives you, you can click this button generate or give you another three options. And let's see what the next three options are. Maybe we get something better, even though all these images are great. And by the way, this is not just for portraits. This works really great on life, uh, wildlife, uh, landscapes, pretty much anything. I will show you a couple of more examples in a second. So here is another variation we have. The next one looks something like this and then one more like this. I like this one with the pad, it's pretty cute. But the very first one was really good as well. Let's see how this will work with wildlife. Just like before, I will zoom out. I'm gonna move my image over here. Then I'll go into my crop tool. And for this one, I will choose a two by three aspect ratio and just expand the canvas. Maybe I don't want it in portrait orientation. I want a landscape. So let's see, I want this feline to stay on this side. Something like that. We'll change this portrait orientation, portrait of this feline into a landscape. Click OK. Now I'll take this marquee, rectangular marquee selection tool and select this white part from the left with some pixels from the image. Hold down shift to add to this selection and I'll select the right side as well. Now we have both sides selected. Click on generate the fill and click generate. Let's see how it does with this wildlife image. Now, if we look at this image, the background and the foreground is fairly simple and it's all blurred. So this should be really easy for Photoshop. But next we'll take a more intricate landscape image. See if it can reproduce the details when we get something intricate. So as you can see, did a phenomenal job 
this image we completely transformed it from this to this and now we are moving to our forest image there's a lot of detail here a lot of shadows light the trees let's see how it does I am going to go to my crop tool and I'll do the same two by three. I'll make it a landscape orientation as well. Something like that. Maybe I want this path to come from this rule of thirds going towards the left. So I'll do this. And just like before, I'll take my marquee tool, select the left side, hold down shift, select the right side. That is great. Click generate to fill and generate. Let's see what we get now. And this is fantastic. Look how well it matched all the detail, the light, the shadows. That's our first option. This is our second option. This is our third option. If you don't like any of this, you can generate more. I am so, so, so impressed with these new tools and I can see why I would use it in my everyday workflow. I hope this was helpful to you and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.